Hi everyone. How are you? It's Melissa. How how has everybody been doing? I hope everything is wonderful, my loves. Um today we're gonna do our tarot reading. Or I'm sorry, not our tarot reading, our tarot study uh on the cups. So we're on the six of cups. Um the Six of Cups, I love this card. I think it is just adorable. So we have the two little children. The one is offering the other one some flowers. We have all the cups down here with flowers in them for giving. Again, cups is always associated with water, is our element. Our astrological association for this card is Sun and Scorpio. The number is six, of course. Um, the Tree of Life position is Tefereth, the sphere of beauty and rebirth. <clears throat> My glasses are like, hoo hoo hoo. Okay, key meaning is harmony, childhood, reconciliation, and old friends. Understanding the six. The two figures on this card look odd. An overgrown child in a red cap offering a cup to a girl dressed like an old woman in the garden of a manor house and tower. One cup stands on a stone podium with a heraldic shield, while four cups stand up right before them. There is a fairy tale theme at work here, which reminds us of a ch childhood tale, Little Red Cat, or Little Red Riding Hood, or even the child prince awakening, a princess grown old after 100 years of sleep. However, we interpret this <clears throat> Otherworldly scene. It is designed to remind us of childhood and the past. The tower and the watchman on the left of the card symbolize protection in the flowers, spiritual blooming, and love. The star shaped blooms may be white datura or apple thorn flowers. Once used in herbal potions as an aphrodisiac or poison, but they also resemble a species of morning glory, which blooms early in the day, linking with a return to the early part of our lives, childhood and the past. Whichever flower we prefer, both carry the meaning of <clears throat> an otherworldly state of mind. Both apple thorn and morning glory were used as hallucinogenics. Our hearts and minds are certainly not in the present moment. In astrology, the six of cups is linked with the sun in Scorpio, which stands for loyalty and strong bonds with friends, family, and partners. Scorpio is a sign of deep emotions and the past, again, suggesting the impact of childhood experience. The Six of Cups Tree of Life sphere is Tefereth for beauty and rebirth, which emphasizes the card's meaning of reconnection with people from the past. The number six stands for serenity and peace. The six-pointed star of David is composed of two triangles representing the concept of heaven and earth, a reminder that we can realize the heavenly and spiritual aspects of ourselves in our daily lives to enjoy harmony. In the Six of Cups, the two themes are the past and the present. The challenge is so integrate our experience, reconciling our past memories and present realities to create the future. The perfection of this idea is summed up in the Ten of Cups, the card of family 
in full emotional expression. The diagonal cross, known as the saltire cross on the podium of the Six of Cups garden, makes the shape of the Roman numeral 10. Again, offering an ideal concept of love on earth. The upright meaning. The Six of Cup reveals happy memories and a time to recall childhood with fondness. Your children, if you have them, may help you reconnect with your own childhood, or you are able to give your inner child free reign to play or have fun without the usual burden of worries. This is a time for good things coming from the past, reunion parties, reconnecting with old friends, and more distant members, or literally going back to your roots. This card may predict a trip home or to a place where fond memories. In some way, the past returns to keep you in the present too. A, as conversations and reminiscing with old friends or contacts seed your new ideas or approach. Overall, you will find balance in relationships and enjoy a period of peace and harmony. This Six of Cups also shows compassion and kindness. So if you are suffering poor treatment, your situation is set to improve. Sweet, happy times are ahead and any disruptions or upsets will be soothed and remedied. In love, an old flame comes back and you need to weigh up it if it is worth going back to the relationship. The reverse meaning. When the cups is reversed, nostalgia rules and you may recall past events with more positivity than they deserve. The card also shows you feeling locked in the past as a way of avoiding moving on. A particular relationship needs to stay in the past rather than be revived. Unexpected visitors or communications may stir up old memories. And if so, the memories rest. These people have no place in your future just now. Okay. So it's talking about our childhood, um, nostalgia, reminiscing, reconciliation, uh, old friends coming back, um, offerings, givings. It's all of the things I see in this card. Okay, so let's go back to the Radiant Rider Wait. Let's see what the Six of Cups says in this one. Okay. All right. You want to recapture better times of the past. Nostalgia consumes you and you desire to return to the good old days. A need for simplicity and country life may be calling to you. New love, relationships, and friendships are on the horizon. You seek the beauty in simple pleasures. Children and causes that support children development are very important. You're considering volunteering work or contrib contributing to a nonprofit organization. You are a sweet influential in your community. So things to think about. Uh, how can I beautify my world more? How can I positively contribute to my community? How can I allow the good times in the past to color my future? How can I give more value to the children in my life? The Six of Cups says, it's been said, you can never go home again. In a sense, this is true but you can take the treasures of the past and savor them in the present. Sharing memories with friends and family can recapture better days. Taking an active, positive role in the community is a very helpful way to honor old fashioned values. Relinquish the company of children is a reminder of youthful joy. Giving and sharing beauty with 
the world opens the heart so beauty can flow back to you. So the core meaning. Uh, you find yourself reminiscing, feeling wistful about the past. You want to simplify your life. Service to others and volunteer work is a keen interest. Beautifying your environment is a priority. Children be, bring joy and innocence to your life and love. Thinking about a past love brings sweet memories. You desire to recapture youthful romance. And money. Fundraising and charity become prime interests for you. Consider donating money to a worldly nonprofit organization in the community. Career. Career is focused on giving back and helping people. You work in a positive influence with far reaching effects. And family. Memories of family members in the past have you longing for how things were. Appreciating the good times gives you a chance to employ more beauty and simplicity in family today. Children are a source of delight and remind you to play more. So if the cards reversed, um, the core meaning is lack of abundance has you feeling pinched and bitter. You are stinging with your resources. You have forgotten that giving a little kindness to others can go a long way to brighten your world. You are living in the past and refuse to move forward. Uh, quick meanings for love, for the reverse. Uh, your expectations are too high. You want more, but your partner is unable to give. In money, your finances are meager and you are looking at old fashioned ways to save money. Sewing, gardening, and reusing old materials are helpful in your career. You remember when, your first, when you first started out in your career and wished it could be that way again. Continuing to live in the past threatens you to make you bitter and stuck in your family. The whole family gathers to pinch, pitch in. Everyone must work to contribute to the needs of the household. Strict understanding about the difference between wants and needs must be defined. So guys, that is the cups, six of cups. And it's the six of cups is about harmony, childhood, relationships, old friends, uh, nostalgia, uh, simplicity, giving, innocence. So it's all about, um, all about that. And we need to take that childhood. Sometimes we have to act like a child, you know, bring some of that childhood back into our lives so that we can prosper and we can grow. Um, we can't be serious all the time. I mean, we have to have times when we can just joke around and have fun and remember how it was when we were a child and things were new and fresh and you know, that was the fun days. You know, now we're old. We got to pay bills. We got to do this. We got to do that. But bringing in some of that, that childhood vigor, you know, is, can be awesome. Okay, guys. So I hope you like this video. Give me a thumbs up. Make sure you guys subscribe to my channel. Uh, so much more to come. Uh, we got the rest of this series to go. We have daily draws. I'm going to do some um, work on pendulums, um, show you guys some dominoes, show you guys how to re read regular cards, playing cards, show you guys my first deck that I did. So we have a lot com coming all up. So make sure you watch guys and give me a thumbs up. Have a wonderful, wonderful day. I love you guys so much. Bye.